Have you been daydreaming of a lifestyle more immersed in nature and adventure? This is a story you'll want to hear. We got to sit down in Bend, Oregon with a proverbial power couple, Savannah and Wes Watts of Tiny Watts. Yes, Watts is their last name. These electrical magicians grant energy independence with their off-grid solar kits, helping people go further and stay longer in their tiny adventure vehicles. Wes and Savannah's love for life and adventure is absolutely contagious. And we know that once you hear their story, you'll stop daydreaming and start to chase your dreams of getting out there, having a good time, and living life on your own terms. Enjoy, and we'll see you down the road. Wes and Savannah, thanks for being on Roadcast. Jumping right in. We're in Central <laughs> Oregon, like talking with amazing people. We were at Riff Cold Brew yesterday. It's you guys know stuff. Paul. We're drinking Riff for yeah. Paul. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, Cheers Paul. Paul. It's good stuff. We're talking about the entrepreneurial life. The, the van life, all things. So anyways, thanks for thanks for coming on. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. It's kind of a surprise. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise. We were emailing, and then you were here. <laughs> I just rolled up. <laughs> I was like, whether you like it or not, I'm just going to stare through your window until you see my hair stream. We saw you guys yep. and saw we the... We saw you making the rounds, for sure, in the parking lot. We're like, oh, we better go talk to them. <laughs> I saw the roadcast sign. I was like, haven't we been emailing them? So I was like, I think that's Jake. And then I walked out here. It worked out perfectly. It, it just rolled out. Rolled Easy. out. Roll yeah. out. And that's honestly part of Roadcast is that we can pivot, drive up somewhere, get her done. Yeah, it was funny. We were like mid-install on our RV, <laughs> which is now actually cool because the solar panels are mounted. So we'll be able we'll to be like, check it out. hey, check them yeah, out. Yeah. Maybe we pick up the thread where it's like, let's just go back to 2016. Yep. You guys make this decision to sell everything, get in this van. We got you're at Hood River, but going to school in Portland. Yeah. Let's make this thing a life. You're, are you finishing up school at that point with a degree or are you going just into, implement? yeah, I was going into junior year mm -hmm. and we were, it was kind of financial too, right? So we were paying about a thousand bucks a month on rent Yeah. and Savannah said, well, Hey, if we just sell everything that we don't want and just move it all into a van mm -hmm. for one, we're going to save a thousand dollars a month on rent. So we got like a $16,000 van, you know, we took out a private loan, yeah. made our monthly payments on the van and kind of throughout that whole process. We were going, I was going to school studying electrical engineering. There was an awesome shop at campus that no one was using. Crazy. Right? I love that. Um, and of course, I was studying renewable energy and wanted to put solar on our van. And we kind of started researching online and kind of found out that there was quite a void there of information. Interesting. Right? There wasn't a lot of good stuff of like. But you'd think there'd be more just with the with the with the like advent of van life. You'd think that people would be. It was early. Yeah, it was, it was like pretty early. 2015. On people were doing it. There was awesome tricked out vans, but like it I mean, wasn't. Yeah, major. it wasn't huge yet. Okay. But I looked into it because I had that idea of moving into a van, and sure enough, there was a few people that had their vans built out really nice. Saying like, "Wow, there's actually people already doing it. This is super cool." Mm and we couldn't go full send right away we yeah. started with like the 2006 but that was okay it beat paying rent it you did. Know? <laughs> but we saw a bunch of scary stuff online and of course i like had classes about how to wire up dc systems and yeah. batteries and like we we're studying that so we kind of were like hey we'll figure this out on our own um but compared to what we've seen online we we feel like we could totally help in this department you know people mm -hmm. Are overwhelmed by this topic of solar and off-grid batteries and well and once yeah. we got our van finished and built out somebody actually reached out from tiny fest northwest was it it was tiny, one of the one of the tiny house, house yeah. conferences and they said hey we saw your instagram you guys have a really cool build you want to be in the tiny house conference this year and we said sure why not cool. and we went there for a weekend and we were literally the only ones with solar there, I think, oh, weren't we? Yeah. Everyone was running generators off their tiny homes. There was like 10 tiny homes there, and everyone had a little Honda 2000 Jenny, and that again kind of confirmed, There's okay, a here's a whole yeah. industry yeah. that's yeah. missed it. There was keynote speakers talking a little bit about it, and I was just like pulling my hair out, like going, no, you guys got it backwards. We have a couple solar panels on our van, and we're, we had a hedgehog that we were keeping warm all night with a heat emitter. Because <laughs> a hedgehog is essential. It essential. is. 
<laughs> Especially in the middle of winter when it's snowing outside. But we had a fridge. That's all you have is your hedgehog. Yeah, fridge, lights. We could keep a animal warm in the winter time. But yeah, yeah. We, we saw that there was, again, kind of a void in the industry of like lack of information or too much of the wrong information. Yeah. People were just overwhelmed. So they said, you know what? I'll just buy a generator. And we, we felt, again, that kind of confirmed the niche for us of yeah. like we can totally help in this department so then what was the next step what was that was it like hey we're well, building wait is your last name watts yeah it is <laughs> it's like the it yeah i know the universe was telling you something exactly dear lord are you kidding me which was funny already because i was sailing no no i know that could be good though sailing watts it was already a joke because at that time I was working at a power consulting firm, right? <laughs> and so even one day like the our project manager walked by my first little cubicle yeah. desk and I had my name Wes Watts on the on He's the like, wall. He stops. I hadn't even met him yet. He goes, Really? <laughs> you work at a power consulting firm and your last name's Watts? <laughs> like who is this guy? You yeah. know? And I was like, Yeah, it's pretty sweet. That's funny. So it, it helped in the job interviews and stuff, but um, so yeah. yeah, I guess what was next was I was working at an engineering job. Savannah well, was we saw the need after yeah. that conference. We said, we got we to gotta help here. We got to yep. do something. Let's figure this out. But in the midst of that, Wes and I were working corporate nine to five jobs in an mm. office. And going to school. And going to school. Mm. And yeah, how do we take it from there? Yeah, and that kind of <laughs> led to me forming Tiny Watts Solar LLC in the back of class one day. And 2017 April 2017 so we just had our five-year anniversary and at that point we were still in the 2006 van mm -hmm. but we had kind of remodeled it again sold that for 36 so we Sweet. were like wow yeah. an investment return on investment this is incredible <laughs> couldn't do it with a house but there was 10 grand down on a 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter van which was yeah. like our dream van right yeah. and yeah, twelve hundred dollar a month van payments, crazy, <laughs> but compared to rent, and yeah. we were splitting that, it was a great deal, right? Yeah. So, there we were building out our dream van, still working, still finishing up school, and we said, let's go in, all in on Tiny Watts Solar. The nine to five isn't for us. She grew up moving on a sailboat. I'm from you know Santa Cruz and want to go play in the ocean all weekend long. So we went full send and and started our company savannah post on instagram saying hey we are tiny watt solar we'll put solar on your van and we got a message someone said hey that was it. Yeah, yeah that was literally <laughs> it welcome to tiny watts we have two company cars this is the four x four Sprinter. This was the one. This is the one you guys went all in on. This was the like. Hey. No, this is a newer version. This is a newer version. We sold that, reinvested in the company. That was like Love years it. ago. This is the original. No, yeah. Just... So this has got our new 500 watt walkable roof deck, and as you can see, it's the whole entire roof, which cool. we're pretty excited about because you can fit a 9-0 longboard for Savannah. So it's storage, and the actual solar panels. That opens up and it's just a giant storage box. And you can see the solar panels are curving on the front there. It's oh, got okay. a few bug splats. But yeah, yeah. It still works. Amazing. It still, works. it still charges your battery. Yeah. And then over here, we got Tiny Brop. So tiny what? Tiny Brop. So tiny Brop? Brop, Brop, Brop. Oh, Brop, Brop. <laughs> so this is Tiny Brop. It's a Daihatsu. It's the world's cutest four-wheel drive van. We got a 360 watt panel. Oh, that And like a funny. fridge and two mountain bikes. So this is like our little mountain bike van. This runs. This runs. This goes. Yeah, we drive this around town and no one cares about the Sprinter. This is what people, people see love. this and they're just like, whoa, let's yes. go. People That's love so it. That's so good. So, I got the keys on the other key, so. To drive on the other side. Yeah, oh, it's right, it is on yeah. the other right hand side. drive. I love Five it. Speed. And then, uh, <laughs> four by four. I'm messing around. Got the orange door. TWS. We tell all the shipping companies, orange door, all the way at the end. Love so, it. come on in. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Did you move into the van and launch the business at the same time? We were building out the 4x4, which was a part of not wanting to work. Yeah. Is we were like, man, we could just work on our van all day. And I'm, <laughs> I'm here at this office <laughs> making coffee and working on spreadsheets. Like, it kind of got slow. And they're like, yeah, just go make a conductor sizing table. And I'm kind of like, I can do better with my time. You know, I yeah. bought the engagement ring with my first paycheck. So <laughs> yeah. we were good. Well, and you got Lock your paycheck. Okay. And you're like, this is it? This is what I'm yeah. getting paid? No way. There's got to be more to life than this. 
So, so we, we just kind of went for it because we wanted to work on the van, but we knew already that we had skill set and knowledge to help mm -hmm. other people doing this um, to go solar and, yeah. you know, make that easier. It really was like, people need help. We can help them. We want more free and flexible lifestyle. Let's just go for this. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could probably travel around in our van and do solar projects, mm -hmm. right? We go to Moab, we go to Colorado, we do a little loop. Mm -hmm. So it turned into two years of essentially R&D of doing drop ship projects mm -hmm. to driveways. So we would ship all the components to someone's house because they contacted us through yeah. Savannah's Instagramming. And we said, yeah, okay, you got a Sprinter, X amount of batteries, what do you want to run? Send everything to their driveway. And then we'd show up in our van that we were living in <laughs> do the project for, you know, three, four days and uh, carry on. And so it, it kind of turned into a loop because there was a tiny home conference in Texas. Yeah. So we did this big down to Texas and then all the way back up to Seattle. But every single project was an iteration of learning something new, mm -hmm. you know, testing things out. We were living in our own van, testing our own system at yeah. the same time. So we knew what it's like capacity and, and whatnot was. So, you know, after two years, we were kind of like, hey, Every project has been custom. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. It's just Savannah and I. The demand is increasing. How can we scale this? Mm -hmm. Well, what if we made kits and we did all the work for them in our shop in a box mm -hmm. and just shipped them the box? Yeah. And so we kind of pivoted a little bit after the first two years to develop the pre-wired power centers. Gotcha. And yeah. that's kind of the core of the business now. Yeah, yes. essentially instead of just selling components and letting them figure it all out or follow a wiring diagram, because no. people don't really follow wiring diagrams. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> we do I wouldn't trust myself. 90% <laughs> of the work in the shop. We hook up all the circuit breakers, we program everything, everything's built to marine spec, who, you know, our lead tech, Lauren and myself are ABYC certified, and that's like the marine electrical code, essentially, okay. in addition to having an electrical engineering mm -hmm. background. So we just let people feel safe in that it was done right. Mm -hmm. And here's a battery with positive and negative wires to hook up. Yeah. This one's red, this one's this black. black. Yep. I'll trust you to do that. <laughs> yeah. But it's a weekend project instead of months and months and months of research and buying the wrong things, right? Yeah. So we want to simplify it yep. so people can just go. Just get on Go it. camping. Yeah. Here's a three-day project, and then you have an epic power system. Talk to me about the design of it. Like, what's it, you know, what are some of the hallmarks? Because you're doing some really interesting stuff, you know. Um, yeah, right now it's a it's a split system, so it's water on one side mm -hmm. and power on the other side. It's very common to either have you know benches in the back of your van or like a bed platform. Uh -huh. So we take care of power on one side, and then we've kind of started to offer all the water stuff mm -hmm. plumbed on the opposite side. Okay. So you get two systems knocked out mm -hmm. and a bed platform. Oh, okay. And so that's kind of our latest. Yeah. Offering. So half yes. your van builds done and two of the hardest systems in your van or your rig are finished and complete and they're, you know, yeah, they're all tested and stuff before they ship to your front door. Yeah. Kind of coming back to like what our product is, Yeah, this is a powder coated metal enclosure, wood catches on fire, yep. metal has a lot of other advantages for being off road rugged and mm -hmm. whatnot, but we do all of this in-house, right? You got your inverter, your charge controller. We're halfway through on this one, but we program everything. So yeah. it's all wired up, so you'll see this kit. Oh wow, that's a bigger kit. This is a huge kit, custom project again, but so this is like <laughs> so one of the big. biggest systems so we've seen. Big. How big, where's it, where's it going? This is going in a van, but she's gonna charge her small electric car. What? So she's like van life and electric car for like cruising around town. Yeah. From this, from the solar. So this is a 20 kilowatt hour battery bank, which is about half of her car battery. So I, you know, we talked about this up front, like to charge an EV is insane. Yeah. You know, you need a lot of batteries here to put in the battery there. Yeah. But for her weekly driving, it's, it's like she just stays in the top quarter of her battery mostly, right? For just, you know, 20 miles around yeah. town, 30 miles around town. And so, yeah, we did a 20 kilowatt hour system big giant 5,000 watt inverter. But this kind of shows like, you know, our work, like everything is marine grade mm -hmm. cabling. Uh, Lauren and myself, like I said, are ABYC certified. Mm -hmm. So this is all to the marine electrical code and it's pre-wired. So 
every single one of these components has been programmed so she doesn't have to, right? Yeah. We literally know how to just do get that to stuff. plug it in and go, or whatever you want to say. Plug yep. and play. Yep. Then we got our 500 watt conference table. Okay. So this is our this is our solar roof deck, um, similar to the roof box, uh -huh. but you can just buy the standard platform and you can walk on it. Yeah. Um, this was set up as a ping pong table. Yeah, because oh, everyone kept saying. Ping pong you can totally do so it. So we got a little net and we can. Are see. these panels too? This yeah. is the solar blackboard. <laughs> so we can. Are there white markers that. that you can do on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll show, we got this little chalk marker. So. Yeah, it's basically our whiteboard. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, that's 800 watts right there. So these are like the standard residential style panels. Uh huh. They're, you know, 400 watts. <laughs> yeah. I, again, I yeah. just can't get enough that it's like everything's watts everything's in your life. Are you, are you sick of the word watts? I'm all about it. You're still no. there. It's in like, your blood. Again, at, at the gym on the little bikes, you know, you can um, look at RPMs, but there's watts. I'm all about watts. <laughs> I don't read RPMs. Watts. <laughs> watts. 500 watts, let's go. Like, uh, yeah. You're also the same height as a solar panel, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> I'm not the same width. width. But the same height. That you know, would be an so. issue if yeah. I was the same yeah. width. Yeah. But yeah. 65 inches is about your typical 60 cell solar panel yeah. so i tell people i just lay down on the roof yeah you can fit it's one. me yeah. yeah it's me maybe two <laughs> yeah, again it's one watt it's two watts yeah two watts these are 400 each you can fit this on a sprinter van uh -huh. um you know one in front of the other but that's like our standard solar kit yeah. these are like our walkable ones so these okay. are the same type of panels you'd see on a residential anything else house. but this is yeah. like hey you can these throw anything on there. these are military grade oh, can yeah. we see oh we Super can see sweet. the top i don't yeah. know if we can get Good yeah, check it out. It, but yeah, it might be able to shot. snag that. But the idea with that is like, you can go walk around on your roof, mm -hmm. watch the sunsets, put your camp chairs up there, check yeah. it out. You can put all your stuff in the box mm -hmm. and you still have 500 watts, which keeps your fridge and your lights and everything and in your van deck. working, right? Because yeah. you see the vans with the two, you know, Thule boxes or mm -hmm. Yakub, you know, rocket box on the roof. Mm -hmm. You see a Sprinter with two of those. That takes up half of the roof therefore and then up here they got a vent yeah. so there, there's no room for solar and solar is what gives you like days and weeks off grid by the river enjoying life with your family you need solar to recharge your batteries every day right yeah. so that's the whole birth of the storage roof box was can't sacrifice solar for storage yeah you know, but you need storage because you're in a van cool. you got to put your stuff somewhere now I want to rewind. Cool. We've got yeah. kind of this point, but Savannah, you grew up on a sailboat. Yep, for seven years of my life. That's amazing. What was yeah. that like, and has it, how has it influenced like where you're at now? You know, it's it's a blessing and a curse is how I look at it because <laughs> I grew up such an amazing life where I'm just so mobile, so just always wanting to move, check stuff out, travel, see the world, and then it's a curse too because it's you know we're in one place for six months and like. I need to get out of here. I need to go do something different. Wes yeah. makes laughs at me because he's like, you never really know what you want. And I'm like, no, I may know for six months, but then I'm on to something completely Well, if you were different. sailing around the world, the first part of your life. Yeah. yeah. Seeing all these, I mean, where did you sail? What did it look? I mean, did you have brothers and sisters? Or? Yeah, I have a younger sister. So my parents sailed from Washington State all the way across to New Zealand. They had me there lived there for about a year and then they sailed on to Australia and then had my younger sister in Australia. So got a Kiwi and an Aussie. What year, okay, <laughs> so what year is, is this? Uh, 93. 93. And yeah. was this a single hull? Was this a catamaran? Single hull. Yep. It's yep. Like a 38 foot boat 38 or something? 38 foot boat. No yeah. refrigeration. No refrigeration. <laughs> no refrigeration. <laughs> yeah. They just... How does that even... It's like you packing things with salt? What is it? It's like back in the day? They did a lot of jarring. So they yeah. Yeah. canned all their Can. fish and their vegetables and everything like that. And they didn't really refrigerate anything. Like Catch fish, eat it. Yeah, basically, or dry it out and make fish jerky, you know? I mean, I, I mean, it's, I know it's like, I just have to admit, like, there's a romanticism to that, you know? Is there, this is a total sidetrack. <laughs> I think it's so interesting of that, like, yeah. if you grow up that way. Yeah. You know, like you said, it's a blessing and a curse. Like, yep. you want to see everything, experience everything. There's a simplicity to it. Mm -hmm. Is there downsides in your mind of, like, or is it like, no, that's the way? I 
it's kind of the way it's, it's kind of the it's, way it's literally how i mean we see our life too i mean yeah. wes and i's dream is to yeah. get a boat <laughs> have a van and then have a tiny home on a piece of land you know that's and that's it yeah. so um totally yeah, there's a don't fear that like your kids are gonna be weird yeah they grow up sheltered on a boat and like you're homeschooled and they're gonna be weird right well savannah's not weird but oh, also we'll see we'll see about that. <laughs> maybe kids sometimes <laughs> cruising kids they're out spearing fish and kite surfing on the sandbar yeah, what's weird with 12 is weird other looking kids. a screen for 10 I hours know. i like, mean that's it's an awesome thing i mean that's almost kids. scarier you know in a yeah. way kids okay. just glued to Anyways. their screen but. so you're you grew up sailing that's amazing yeah yeah. So she was so used to small spaces, which used to helped small with spaces, the band life thing. Big yeah. Time, you know. Being mobile and being uncomfortable a lot of the mm-hmm. time. You know, sailing life, living in a van is a really cool thing, but it's also can be really uncomfortable, you know? Yeah. Yep. You're okay anchoring and, yeah. yeah, uncomfortable anchorages and sailing in crazy weather, you know, it's, it's beautiful, but it can also be really scary. Yeah. What do you feel like you're seeing in the next, like, five to ten years for tiny watts and just solar in general and and the two of you there yeah i think i think industry like the rv industry and and a lot more people Mm -hmm. want to go camping where other people aren't right so people are willing to throw down now for lithium batteries for solar so they can run their air conditioner way out in the middle of nowhere right Mm -hmm. um so i think that's happening i think more people are coming around to like understanding that you're buying 20 years of electricity mm. and yes it costs money but you just bought 20 years of solar freedom that's crazy and you that's can't a great put way a to price put it. on that you yeah. know like you just bought 20 years go yeah. anywhere you want batteries now have 12 year warranties you're gonna see 15 you know plus years out of those and for tiny watts we just want to keep pumping out a bunch of kits to the point where that can donate to tiny watts worldwide and we can go around solarizing animal sanctuaries and small villages in remote parts of the world is that real that's real to get back to where she wants to do we did it we did a trip to nicaragua where we installed solar in a village for clean water and for lights it was yeah yeah Yeah. well and like in fiji yeah same thing we were in fiji in these you know a whole village of 200 people everyone has a little lead acid battery in their hut right they last three years because it's salty corrosive environment and then they fail you go give them a lithium battery 12 years 15 years of electric life changing right so like we would be so stoked to be able to do those projects yeah with a manager and a team over here running tiny watts but what a great vision that's an amazing vision that's what we want to do here probably in the next within five years for sure yeah well she studied zoology right so we're trying to get back to the animal thing. <laughs> we're trying I'm to get back to the engineer. animals on the sailboat. I just want to feed baby rhinos. You know? <laughs> and and if we take. put Who solar doesn't? on the baby rhino yeah. sanctuary. Oh, wait, on the rhino? or Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, on the baby rhino. They cruise around. No. But, like, get into the elephant sanctuaries and the rhino sanctuaries with, you know, solar projects. And then while I'm up there wiring stuff up, Savannah can be yeah. over there feeding the baby rhinos. So, I don't, yeah. My kids love animals. They'll... they'll Join yeah. you on the track. Cool. Perfect. So perfect. Join the team. Join the, we're on Tiny Watts. Tiny Watts yeah. worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> Global. We'll Sim- similar, similar to Prestige Worldwide. <laughs> yeah, Prestige. Just, just Prestige has been a theme for us this yeah. week. I don't know why. Prestige Worldwide. Yeah. So. It's a Tiny Watts Worldwide. All right. Yeah. Coming soon. I'm into it. We'll brand yeah. it. Um, thank you both so much for taking the time, share your story. We're so stoked that we got to hear. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. Out. Yeah. Show it up. <laughs> See what's up. It was perfect. Cool. All right. We're happy to share. All right. Thanks. Good to meet you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. All right.